All right, so today we did something I'm actually proud of today. Granted, I shouldn't be that proud of it, but it's just, I'm stoked, I'm hyped that uh, it came out, that it actually is functional. And that is really what gets me, something functional. So let's take a look at it. You guessed it, and I told you in the last video, today I attached the hoop to the rear swing arm, and I'm stoked about it. Victory dance coming right up. So I'm continuing to work on the rear suspension and trying to figure out how to attach the hoop to the swing arm. Come along as I mock up some stuff today. And I like to use numbers and math whenever possible. I think it makes my life easier. It makes these things a little bit simpler. It reassures me, if nothing else. So what I'm doing today, the problem I'm trying to solve is that this guy, this hoop, goes up here like so. But it doesn't sit directly above this part of the swing arm. It's going to sit back like that. So, but, and I do want to have a brace from here to here. So in order to do that brace, I need to angle it back to this guy. So I'm going to try and make it out of basically a two by one sort of tubing, square tubing. What I'm trying to do is to get this guy, or I'm going to, I'm going to actually have to take, take this and narrow it down, but then I need to figure out a way to put it on here at an angle back like this to the hoop that will be over here. In order to do that, I need to figure out a, this angle here going up so I can cut this thing appropriately so that it will fit onto the swing arm. To do that, I've gone online to a triangle calculator and I've put in my numbers. I know the height of this hoop to the center of the pipe is gonna be about three and a half inches. And I also know that from this point here, from the center of the swing arm support, from here back to where the hoop is above it is about two and a quarter inches. Given those three parameters, 90 degrees, three and a half inches, and two and a quarter inches, I can come up with a, I can enter that information into the calculator, and then that will give me the angle of the tube needed. And then with that information, I can use my little tool here, my little angle tool, dial in the angle that the calculator tells me, and then that's the angle going up. And then with this, I can then use this angle and transfer it onto, onto a piece of cardboard. I can transfer that little angle right there. Now I still need to figure out there's a little curve here that goes down. The way I did it was I simply took a little piece of copper wire, held it, and then bent it around. Now I can take my angle and transfer it onto my template. This guy here, and I know my, my pipe is only going to be an inch wide is the plan. Adjust my curve accordingly. I should end up with something approaching the correct angle. All right, so now what I've done is I've taken my hoop, I've set it up here and aligned it as best I can to where it's supposed to be ultimately. And I measured the distance from the hoop down to the swing arm. Then I've applied that distance to my little template here by measuring from the top of this curve to uh, the bottom of the curve. Uh, and this would represent the bottom of the curve at the hoop. Then taking a piece of pipe left over from the actual hoop that I cut, Put that on there and trace around it, and then I cut that out. And now, I've got my little template. All right, so in order to make the brace for the swing arm hoop, what I think I want to use at this point is a one by two square tubing for that. And, but I don't have a one by two here. I do have two by two, which I got from the scrap yard, basically. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn this into one by two. Then I go ahead and measure it, and I find out that it is indeed exactly two inches wide. So in order to take an inch out of the center of it, I've set my square right here to exactly half an inch. Lay that on here. So I use the cutting wheel to cut this out, and then this little strip comes out, and now I do the other side. I made my little one by two inch tube here, welded up the sides, gone ahead and put my template on here, made my cuts. 
Well, here it is. The sun's gone down. I'm still out in the garage, but I think I've got it where I want it and as good as I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna weld it. So my next step on my journey to modify the rear swing arm on this bike is to make this hoop fit and get it onto the swing arm. I want it to go up here, fit onto this mount here, and then mount back onto the swing arm here. So this is where I'm working on next is cutting these lengths here so that the hoop is shorter and closer to the fit that I actually ultimately want to fit on here, which is going to be something similar to that. That's our next step. My way of getting the angle to cut is I've got my template here out of cardboard and then I'm going to I just measure measure from here to the apex and then from here to the apex and then in between them here and then I plug those three numbers into my little triangle calculator that I'll put a link to in the description of this video and then I get what the angle should be in this corner here and then I take that angle apply it to my little angle tool and then apply it to my pipe and then I know how to cut it. All right, I've got it fitted up as best I can get it now. I'm gonna go ahead and weld it in. Look at that, Dad. It fits. A wheel fits on there. Nice little hoop. Isn't that neat? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Some of the welds are actually pretty good. <laughs> I know it. All right, so if you like that video, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. Next time, we're gonna work on making another linkage for the rear suspension. Because I've redone my calculations on the rear suspension, and with the way the hoop turned out and everything, I've actually ordered a different spring. And this spring has a different configuration than the last spring. So we're gonna be making a very similar linkage that we made last time. Those two triangles, we're gonna make one triangle this time, and it's gonna have bearings embedded in the triangle, and we're gonna make it out of aluminum. So it's different, but very, very similar concept. So stay tuned for that one next time. And keep on wrenching, people. Thanks for watching.